Summertime grass fishing, I will usually start out with a Booyah Boss Pop. And I like the smaller size better, the 3 8 ounce size. You know, it matches the size of the uh, the shad a little better this time of year. And I can fish it a little faster. And, and that's, if you'll watch how I'm fishing, I'm fishing it fairly fast, three or four pops short, like, more like chops than pops. You know, I'm fishing it real fast where it's making a spitting sound. Three or four of those and a short hesitation. Um, you know, not really a pause, just a short little break in the cadence. And, and I actually call it a stutter step where it's just, you know, it just interrupts the uh, the popping. Or I'll fish a walking bait, you know, a, a Super Spook Junior is my first choice. And then uh, if the water's a little choppier or if I need to throw it a little further, then I'll throw the One Knocker Spook. Those are the primary top waters that I throw this time of year. And all of those I can work fairly fast and cover quite a bit of, you know, quite a bit of water. You know, we're half a mile off from the bank fishing an underwater grass line. And, and you know, every day the fish are going to be positioned a little and a little differently so you know, a lot of it depends on the bait they move up up and down the grass line so sometimes you'll have to cover a little bit of water or to find you know where on a point where on the grass line the fish are positioned right then and and those baits let you you know fish a little faster and color wise you know, I'll keep it pretty simple mainly the shad color most importantly is having that white belly or pearlish belly the threadfin shad in the tennessee river lakes you know have a little hint of chartreuse on the shoulders and just like this one does. Uh, so it gives that good shad profile. Uh, foxy shad is a good color as well. You know, if it's cloudy or a little darker, then I'm gonna throw, uh, you know, one that's, that's a little darker to give it more profile. In this popper, I'll throw the, uh, the ghost shiner color. You know, whereas in the spook, I'm gonna, you know, go with the, um, um, like the black shore minnow or the, or the silver shiner. If it's real sunny on up in the day, then I'm, I'll throw the chrome version, you know, to give it, to break it up a little bit, make it a little harder for them to see uh, where they're just seeing the profile and hearing the noise, you know, seeing the movement on the water and, and hearing the noise.